Well, good evening again. Here we are for our Facebook Live tonight uh, on this um, a little bit of a damp day. So I'm inside today, not out in the nice, nice garden, unfortunately, but still managed to give the warmth. And uh, our beer for tonight uh, is one of our regular beers, our core beers. We haven't got around to doing yet. That is Billericay Zeppelin. Make sure we're doing it the right way there. Billericay Zeppelin, beer number five there. Okay, 3.8% pale amber beer. So, that's the way, let's get this open. Okay. And to pour now the glass, I am pouring with thing two today. I'll get this the right way around eventually. Um, is from the Chapel Beer Festival, another one of my favourite beer festivals. Now, this one you see the 17th Beer Festival, and someone will be able to tell you what that, which one that is. Um, yeah, a, a very favourite beer festival of mine, held at um, the East Anglian Railway Museum, uh, Wakes Cone, just outside Colchester. There's a fantastic railway museum there, and they have a great beer festival there. Really great, you can sit on the trains and drink the beer. Can get very busy, particularly on a Friday night, it can be a bit manic. So, um, uh, but really worthwhile going to for the Wearing Museum and always got a great beer selection as well. Um, not clear yet whether it will be happening this year. I think they I've just looked up, they won't make a decision by the 1st of July. So, we don't know really. Yeah, sort of, there's not any beer festival said that definitely going to be going ahead yet. We can only wait and see. Now, as you can see, pale amber, nice and clear there. Um, 3.8%, a nice session ale, this one. Okay, so nice session ale, only 3.8%, but still got a nice bitterness to it. And we sort of say pale amber, bitter, that uh, ale. Uh, if we look at the malt in there, uh, obviously, as I said, most of our beers, we've got the pale malts. With that, to give it the amber sort of colour, we've got a little bit of caramel malt in there, a little bit of crystal malt. Uh, which gives it the real amber, sort of slightly red, you can see a tiny little red tinge to that, that's crystal malt in there, um, and also melanoidin malt, remember, so it gives a little bit of biscuity flavour to it, okay, and then the hops in there, uh, we've got Challenger for Bitterin, and then for Oma, uh, Wilfred Goldings, and Cascade, so a little bit of a British, a little bit of American. Now, nice and refreshing, as I say, there was a nice bitterness to it there as well. Um, you sometimes pick up slightly sort of a little bit smoky sort of hints to it sometimes as well. Uh, but a very popular beer we brew. Um, it's become more popular as the year gone by. We, we really sort of brewed it as a sort of session beer, but it's developed its character and it's got a lot of flavour to it as well and a lot of character to it as well. So. Goes down very well. So number five beer, remember in our Chapel Beer Festival glass there. Uh, quite both it was within Chapel Street, the brewery. Um, now there's quite a story to this beer. Now this was actually one of the first beers that was actually named by one of our customers. We actually we perhaps what we do another one of those uh, polls at the time. We knew, I knew we wanted to brew a session beer. Uh, but we gave it out to the customers for them to name the beer, and that's where the Zeppelin came out. The Zeppelin name came out. Now, uh, White Zeppelin and Billericay Zeppelin. Now, those of you who are local probably know the story. It's the one of the things that Billericay is famous for is that during the First World War, um, a Zeppelin was shot down over Billericay. It was one of the first Zeppelins to be shot down uh, after attacking uh, after his raid on London. It was chased across Essex and shot down in flames over Billericay uh, and the wreckage was about a mile from where the brewery is and at that time in 1916 um, it was one of the first two Zeppelins to be shot down and it drew the crowds and people came all out from London to view it they they cycled they got the train out there they um, some people even walked so it said just to see the wreckage of the Zeppelin and still there's quite a few people around Billericay who've got little pieces of the wreckage of that Zeppelin going down. So that's where that Billericay Zeppelin name comes out. Now, actually, uh, the original name of the beer, as chosen by a customer, we actually had a musical hint there. It was actually called Dead Zeppelin. Uh, and the original picture, box all, actually had a picture of a Zeppelin crash. We actually got the wrong Zeppelin. There was another one shot down in Essex around about the same time. We actually got the wrong one, sadly. Uh, 
and it was called Dead Zeppelin. And some people said, actually, people might be a bit offended by that. We never meant to cause any offence to that, definitely not. So we just called it Villa Ricky Zeppelin. And in, uh, I've told the story before that in 2016, on the 100th anniversary of the Zeppelin being shot down, there was a big memorial went up, went on in uh, Villa Ricky. It was quite a memorial was laid for that. And again, spirit reconciliation, um, uh, some descendants of the Germans who died in there, they were invited, some from the German embassy invited on to that. So it's definitely a sense of reconciliation. And we were really honoured that day when the commemoration was on. The chap who shot it down, uh, uh, Frederick Sowery, his name was, and all his family's descendants came to visit us on the day. We had 19 members of the family, including his son, Sir Freddie Sowery, who was at the time was 94 years old and quite an amazing man who um, unveiled the memorial. So if you're in um, Billericay, it's hidden the, uh, the memorial there. Um, as I say, seeing Freddie Sowery on that day was really inspiration. We actually brewed a special beer for the Sowery family called Sowery Ale, which we brewed, brewed again last year. As sadly, Sir Freddie passed away last year. Um, so we did that in this memory. But another beer we brewed in 2016 on the 100th anniversary. We did a friendship ale as well, which was a uh, Anglo-German. It was brewed with a mix of British and German hops and British and German malts as well. So it's a creation. And the Sowery family, they're so fat, famous. They even got a book out by then, the Sowery family, uh, all about the story of the Sowerys, because they were an amazing family. Uh, many of them uh, fought, I uh, mean, uh, so Fre Frederick, uh, and who shot down the Zeppelin, and his brothers also flew against the Zeppelins as well, and his son, Sir Freddy, um, was also in the RAF during the Second World War, and uh, rose to quite a very high rank in the RAF as well. And again, so they're a very amazing family, and... Um, it was a real honour to meet him and those of you who know him, he's a hero to me because he was um, a, a great man who um, uh, came to mind his father, uh, but also one who looked to the future rather than too much looking to the past as well. Uh, now this brings us on to our beer heroes. Uh, we've got up to five, let's just think, yeah. Um, uh, we've got several beer heroes now, I think we've got five beer heroes now, sort of. People who have done uh, charitable work looking after cats, uh, people who are looking after their daughter because their daughter is shielding, people who are making face visors for the NHS. Um, and just last, last week, it was just an 80 year old, 88 year old chap who's done, uh, who's just been stuck at home all this time, looking after his, him and his wife stuck at home, and he just deserves a beer. I forget, I, was, or I forgot as well, our chap who organised a VE Day party for his streets. So we've had several great beer heroes and we're getting great nominations as well for beer heroes. So we can't cover everyone, unfortunately. We get so many nominations, we have to choose someone who's done different things each week. We try to share it around different people, different people choosing and different people for winning different um, ideas. So if you do know someone who you think is a beer hero, then please nominate them and we they get a pack of beer. We do one of them each week and someone who really does deserve a beer. So it could be something they've done, especially during the lockdown, uh, during our current crisis possibly, or someone who generally does something very well. And we've had sort of unsung heroes really, not just always the ones who make the headlines, but the unsung heroes as well. Uh, that brings us on to, uh, we're now in the run up really to Father's Day coming up in uh, a week, not next weekend, the weekend after. Uh, we've got lots of dads who are heroes, uh, so they love a beer present, I can assure you of that. So we've got lots of gift ideas for fathers in our shop now. Now we're doing local delivery now. We will actually do a, a delivery on Father's Day morning, so you, you can get beer delivered to your dad, turn up on his doorstep, Bill Ricky only, unfortunately, so if you want to get beer on his doorstep and make his Father's Day, that would be the, do, be the way to do it. Normally Father's Day, yeah, we do lots of brewery tours. We can't do those, obviously, current situation. But you can buy those experiences, you can buy those vouchers for your dad, so that once we're back to some sort of normality, 
they can come and enjoy a beer at the bar or they can come and do one of our experiences so look forward to that as well we'll talk about the beers we've got on to offer next week but we've got a great selection of them and now we've also got an uh, improved website so you can order much more online as well so if you want to order our beers online please uh, do uh, go onto our website and you can order our beers online for collection or local delivery gift packs 12 six three bottles um, and our poly bins as well our draft beer in in a box you can order those online as well so get your orders in for this weekend as well might be a rainy day now but the weather forecast the weekend is much better so you definitely need to get some beers in for the weekend if you've not ordered them in yet so might be rainy now but the weekend is going to be good and also get your orders in now for your father's day present you want to make sure you get the right present for your dad uh, and if you are a dad, drop a few subtle hints. Yeah, people say, I don't know what to get my dad, I never know. Beer. That's the only thing you have to say. Just beer. That's the great thing to get your dad, definitely. Uh, so get those orders in, particularly if you want it on to Father's Day morning, because I'm sure I can't run around every single house in Billericay, so get those orders in quickly. So I'll just say a cheers for Billericay Zeppelin. Uh, we've got plenty more bottles of this in stock, so if you like a real nice pale amber beer your pale bitter 3.8 so nice session one that's a great one and as you know a lot of dads actually love this one so so cheers i'll see you again next week hopefully see you at the pub soon stay safe cheers <laughs>